saying something. Good morning. How is everybody doing on this Memorial Day? I'm on my way to a visit. What's up? What's up, Tracy? Good morning. I'm on my way to visit my mom for a little bit and then visit Teresa's mom after that. I think um, her sister and my sister's son out of town and Teresa's mom in the house by herself, so I'm just going by there to check on her. Then I'm headed back home. I was I'm off today, but I don't know what I'm going to put on the grill. Hey, I, I don't know yet, Ashley, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something, man. I'm trying to get with your mom when she wake up, see about some crabs or whatever. If y'all want, if you want to do a little something, I'll let you, I'll let me. Um, yeah, I'm on my way to visit your grandmother, Ashley, my mom, and then I'm gonna go to Nana check on her. Then I'm gonna head back home. And just come check in with you good people. Y'all you know, you know we family. Y'all know we family. Come on now. Just call and come by the hub. Take me a light, like, little slow ride over here. I'm close by you, Ash. Good morning. What's up, Lakeisha? Hey, that guy there. Barry, what they do, Barry? Be right. How you doing, Ariel? What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. I know it's real early for some of you people, especially people in the uh, central and the mountain and the west area. <laughs> well, it's eight o'clock over here. Y'all know I'd be up. Whether I got to go to work or not, I'd be up by five and four or five in the morning. But waking us up, okay, that's what's up. What's up, Wanda? How you doing? What's up, Frederick? <laughs> what's up, Dirty? <laughs> no, man, I ain't dirty though. I, ain't, I used to be a dirty boy, I used to be dirty. Oh, uh, yeah, no, man. That ain't me no more, bro. <laughs> but I get it. No, man, I'm try trying to get some ideas of what to throw on the grill today. Whatever it is, it's going to be uh, simple. But I'm, I'm going to do something. I'm going to put a little something on the grill later on. But, uh, yeah, I just going to visit my mom and then visit, visit Teresa's mom. Teresa and the kids still sleep home in the bed. What they doing, Glunda? How you doing, sister? I'm feeling all right, you know. I'm feeling blessed this morning. You know, I be I be up, Glunda. You know how I roll. Yep, I be up and then all day. Uh, Teresa and I chilled all day yesterday, boy. Those that water, you know, when you get to the water park in a minute, that water beat us up Saturday. Ashley and them, Ashley and her family slept all day and hung around the house all day. Out there, everybody went to church that morning, but other than that, man, it was just a laid back, laid back. Y'all, I cooked yesterday. Y'all saw what I cooked, and then, um, yeah, to a gig yourself, that's what's up. Uh, what up, Bobby from Detroit? That's what I'm talking about, man. I love Detroit, man. Detroit, Michigan. There. There's some family up there, boy. There's some family up there, for real, for real. Y'all be holding the brother down. Yeah, I'll be up. I'll be up. Yeah, that's something, but I'm, I, you know what, Glenda, I, I, it, it wasn't the sun, it was the waves of water slapping against you. You know how the water do, and then you get hungry when you got to get out of water. So by the time you get home and then eat something, that was it. Up in the shower and then eat. We was just, you know, we just laid back the rest of the Saturday. And then Sunday, you know, just chilled out. I did cook yesterday, but y'all saw what I cooked, and then, hey, it is what it is. Yep. If I can, if I don't say hey to some of y'all, I can't see your your uh, your names yet. Okay, this thing moves slow. What's up, Keith? What they do? They are Hollis. The Waterwood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a good time. Davis beat that boy. Yeah, Tank. Yep, Tank put it in his life, man. Okay, so so now they want. They send Ryan Garcia next. They see Ryan Garcia faster and hit harder than uh, Romero. So they're gonna throw him at Tank now. So we'll see. Garcia d definitely fit the part, but we'll see. And you got that dog in you. No matter who they bring to you, what kind of tool what kind of power. Well, the thing, the good thing about Tank is Tank learning. He keep learning as he go, and he's staying humble. He's not like the old Tank. So that's what you have to do. He's humbling himself, 
and God, God blesses his whole situation, and but he putting in the work. And when you put in the work, you usually get good result, get good results after that. Things is gonna be God. Like, yeah, he he gonna he that's the one he really gonna have to put down so they can shut everybody up just like Floyd. It threw everybody at him. Anybody. It don't even matter who it was, black, white, uh, uh, our Latino brothers and sisters, uh, 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 it, 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 you know, anybody, they sunk, sunk at him. It did not work. So, however you like it or you don't, you like it or you don't. Hold on, I hit the wrong turn, y'all. Let me swing around here. You like it or you don't. When you see the best, you're going to have to beat him. Because I, I'm not saying, one thing I like about Tank, if 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 you like get the upper hand on tank or you or you hit him where he don't want to be hit he adjusts he learned it to adjust in his fight if you can't adjust and the, the longer the fight go the more accurate he becomes and more power he brings then when he get angry he can't stop it so i don't see it i see him beating um brian garcia too you looking like all kinds of teenagers. <laughs> Just, <laughs> okay, I know, right? I appreciate it. Yeah, he adjust because um, I mean, what can you do? And then when the whole world be see, when the whole world be against you, man. Just about be against you. Um, that make you step your game up even more. That make you work even harder. So I'm telling you, man. I, I just don't see nobody no time soon beating Tank. Especially around in this weight class, he even went up and beat uh, uh what your what your boy name was uh, oh gosh, Barrios. He went up in weight to beat not Barrios, and Barrios was fast and powerful and taller. Then he just fought another taller the taller guy. Look, man, I don't see it. I just don't see it. He gonna be another Tyson? I hope not. Tyson let me down, man. Tyson started wiping sweat off people's face after he knocked him out and all that stuff then. No, I ain't with all that there, man. No, I don't know about that Glenn. Now the young bull Tyson, yeah, we know what he did. But uh, uh man. That overall Tyson's a good dude, man. But great day, Tyson, man. He, but he he just let Glenn come on that. He let he let us down early. It was too early. In the way it was 1990, Buster Douglas busted him up. He busted him up. And after that, he wasn't no more good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. The speed and the uh, and he getting, but the thing is, now he when he, he humbling himself at an early age. That's what you do. And he bringing, he letting the fight come to him. Everybody calling him out. Just what he then you can hate Floyd all you want to, but everybody called Floyd out. He chopped them all. And I knew it. I won so much money off of, off of Floyd, man. They, they, they just keep on. Keep on. You keep asking for what you want. You're going to get it, but it ain't going to come out the way you want it to come out. You got to stay humble. Yeah, he got to stay humble, man. It's our age. It is what it is. And I know I know that for a fact. You be arrogant. Because I was hella arrogant back in the days. It's still, it's still on me a little bit now. I'm working on me and I'm working on me too. It don't work, fam. It don't get you nowhere being arrogant. You could be confident. But uh, being arrogant, it don't work, fam. It just don't work. I'm gonna go by this store before I reach my mom's house get get us a cup of coffee. I don't think she got any there. Dude, you gonna have to slow down, homeboy. But what y'all cooking today, man? Drop some of that food on there, man. What's my final thoughts on the NBA? Oh, Boston gonna put up a fight, but I just think, I don't know, boy. Y'all, I don't know. I really ain't rooting for nobody, but you know, you know, Lakers ain't in there, so I really ain't rooting for nobody, but maybe, I don't know, boy. If you get to seven games, that could be anybody game. If you make it to seven, I like Boston at the end because it's tough, but if it's early, then the Dubs gonna win it. Uh, four, two. That's what I believe, four, two Dubs. If it go to seven, that's Celtics. Because that pressure of that seventh game, 
and you being at home. Good morning, happy Memorial Day. Yeah, Glenda, we, boy, I'm so hurt by the Lakers, boy. I'm, I was so angry, Glenda. I ain't, look, I caught bits and pieces. You know I haven't been talking about, I caught bits and pieces of the, uh, of the play, postseason. It just wasn't right if LeBron wasn't in there and the Lakers wasn't in there, man. All them weapons and you know, couldn't get it done. What well, I do, but uh, uh, Anthony Davis let me down so bad, boy. I'm like, man, I'm looking at this dude, man. Dude, you boy, you need to buck up or something. You need to put some weight on your ass or something. Just something got to get right, man. You too big, seven foot, and then you got skills at seven foot. Come on now, you supposed to be beast mode on any and everybody. Boston gonna hurt some feelings in six. Hey man, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it, man. I got respect for JT. You know that he a Duke Blue Devil. You know that's my team. Now Duke and J Jason Tatum come from Duke, and he leading them. He, I'm talking about man. He a he beasting over there. I'll stop by this little place here and get get mom and I help a coffee. My mom love that coffee, boy. Just like me. I guess that's where I got it from. But then I fall it behind. I get, after I after you drink that coffee, I got two bottles of water. Knock it down there right behind it. Yes, yeah, sir. You'll be all right. Hey, Lady Parker. Hey, Mama Shirley. How you doing, family? Yeah, happy holidays to you, too. I was telling them I'm, I'm on my way to visit my mom. And then I leave my mom. I was going to visit Teresa, mom, Nana. Go by there and holler and check on her. And then I'm going to head back to the house and... Uh, I'm gonna put something on the grill. Don't know what it is yet, but we can do what it do. It'll come to me. Run up in here and uh, get two cups of coffee. Let's see what he I'm over here close by Ashley House. Yeah. This thing here. But anyway, family. Um, but but far as like boxing and stuff, man, but you know, uh I just don't see nobody no time soon beating Tank. Tank Davis, because um man, he getting better and better and his skill is revealing itself. Not only that, he fast with power. He got a combination of all three, and then he can box. Oh my goodness! Let's see, that makes him even more dangerous. So everybody want to come knock him off or to hurt him and to bust his face up, and that's all they want to do, embarrass him. No, the way he been talking lately, is in his fight, all his talking been left in the rain. That's what you want, and he just sitting back and he just like. Okay, man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna want to knock him out. I want to finish. But the other guy, Romero, he was talking about. Like, yeah. I'm gonna embarrass him. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna do. It. I said, man. And he great. You can see how good he was. But boy, when that dog in you, I don't care what you do when that dog in you. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. He do remind you of Young Tyson. Power, speed, and jet. But Tyson was a knockout artist. He didn't know He didn't want to box. He tried to stop boxing late. later. It was too late. This man in his early 30, 20s, and he boxing. You can box. Oh, my gosh. And he adjusts to southpaw fighters. I'm watching him. Yeah. Everything that Floyd did, Floyd taught him well in that in that regard. But the thing, the difference that Tank has that the Floyd didn't have, uh, Tank will go hunting. He'll go hunting and get in the war with you one-on-one. -on -one. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, but you got to be smart. That's where, where Floyd was uh, a genius at. That's the object is to hit and not get hit. You, people say, oh, Floyd be running. No, Floyd uh, making you think, and he chopping your ass. He making you think, but you instead of getting stuck. And then uh, you hear the commentator say, oh, uh, 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 Romero hit him. I'm saying, what, the, what What? are they looking at? What What are they seeing? He was missing. He called something every, every now and then, but he was missing uh, Tank Davis. He was missing him. And when Tank hit, it was powerful. It was explosive. Head going, going back. And then I say, boy, it's a matter of time. And guess what? He caught, he caught him with the left check hook, just like Floyd caught, uh, what was it? What was the hard hitting Ricky Hatton back in the day? Remember hard hitting Ricky Hatton from Britain, London? He was supposed to have been the dog. 
Floyd Carter went, that was that same check hook. When you're coming in swinging, you take that one step back with the right leg, right leg playing, and you turn and you torque that body. Bam! Caught him. I said, lights out. You feel like a dog, like a tub of meat. <laughs> you feel? I know, I know that don't sound too good, but man, man, look, man, when he talks so much like that, and and you're not respecting your opponent because you want to beat him so bad. You going in and he, he coming in like a bull. You going in dog. You going in charging. You y'all know most fights. You lose most fight going in charging. You going after your opponent. You got to be in defense mode first. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he feel real hard. Good anyway, fam. Y'all put something if you, if you, if you come across this live. And I'll, yeah, I got my head on the swivel, y'all. I'm on the north side. That's where I grew up at. Yeah, it, it's right. It's, it's rough over here. Yeah, so I, I, hey, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm still packing. Yes, yeah, sir. But uh, it's rough house over here. So you got to be. I got them on alert. Anyway, check it. If you got some, or, or, or some of the ideas. Some people been asking me for that meatloaf for the lump. Boy, that meatloaf gone. They tore that meatloaf up. Jalen and Mia finishing off. Teresa started it off. Then I got me a couple pieces. The girls, when I say the girls tore that meatloaf up, fam, yeah, they made the pops proud. Y'all have a happy um, Memorial Day too, man. Fruganisa. Yeah, his face, Fruganisa. I'm late. I'm late with the comment. Fruganisa, his face, uh, he feel, see, he got dumbified. If that's a word, he got, he got dumbified. He hit that boy and then Nick Turk, I say, that's it. Lights out. If that Nick, if somebody catch you like that and then hold your neck and your head turn real quick, yeah, you gonna have some cobwebs up in there. Yeah, you gonna do, 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 do. <laughs> like you seeing stars. Knock them out, face hit the ropes. I said that's it. Darian and I went to Holly. I said lights out. I said that's it. I said you won't go night night. You going night night? <laughs> yeah, that was boy. I tell you, he deserved that. He, he it'll make him better though because. His mouth, y'all should have heard it. The way in, everything. I'm talking about. You talk. Everybody talks smack. I'm talking about. It's how you're talking and how you let it ride. You still respect your opponent. I will, Lady Park. I'll tell everybody. I say hello. Okay. Yeah, I said dumbify. When you are do do do, I thought which way did he go? You get knocked out. Yeah, it was over. Yeah, yeah, fucking it was over. I was wait. <clears throat> excuse me. I was waiting on it. I thought it would come in the seventh, but it came in the sixth. And he caught that in the boy, he caught that right there with that checkup number power. See that he tor he torqued his body. And it's a quick, it's a quick check hook. It's called a check hook. Bam. Oh, MG. Uh, every fight that I done been in in my life, my daughter asked you if she's still on here, she'll tell you. I ain't lost one. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no prize fighter. But it's the way you fight, you fight in defense mode. You don't go looking for trouble. If your trouble presents itself, that's when you let the dog loose. Because, you know, y'all see me, I'm short. My little height and, height and everything, and I don't, you know what I'm saying, I don't come out. But when when you call me out and you're talking mess, that's how I used to get. And so I used to get, so I over talk you or I um I used to, uh, um I talk smack back. And then the guy I'm talking smack to, he couldn't handle it. So he ready to fight. I was like, oh, oh, you want to fight now? See, you talk mess to me. I took it and I come back. You can't handle it. Okay, so when you're ready to fight, boom. That's when that dog come out. And that's people problem. Underestimation. They see your size or they see, oh, he's thin. Watch out for skinny dudes. Skinny dudes can fight. They fast and they got power too. Never underestimate no one. Nobody. So he wanted to go in there and show off and, and he got knocked out. But um, fam, let me know what you want me to cook in the near future give me some more ideas i got like two more uh two more recipes coming up and um i think you'll like them but today i'm just uh, look they, they just freelance i'm just going and throw something on the grill i still don't know what yet i got some steaks in there i got some big big pieces of beef but you know i don't want to eat all that but they might want it and um chicken of course i got chicken you know and i got so i got a slab of real i think i got some no, a, a slab of baby bags left and some um, spare ribs. But we're gonna see. And we're gonna make it we're gonna make it do what it do. Hey, Miss Lady Lee. Surprised you did it meet Lil G. I, that's what I'm saying. 
Yeah, you know I would see. You follow me. I appreciate that, Lakeisha. Yeah, y'all yeah, don't know I don't too much care for the meatloaf. They dish it, but they can't take it. And so I was the kind of guy my whole life was, Joanna, I would, um, okay, when I, like, when I used to go around, we go around and fellas. Everybody talking about their football team. You know I don't let nobody talk about my Gators, my Florida Gators football team. So I come back, especially, especially Florida State fans. Oh, they hate the Gators. They retarded with it. Let me let me clarify that. They crazy in the head. I don't want to say retarded because retarded people can't help it. So let me clarify that. They crazy in the head. They just can't they can't wrap themselves around the, the Gators Florida football program is better than yours. It's better than theirs. Everybody knows it, but they don't. So they, they talk with a lot of venom in their voice. So I go around now. This guy, he talking. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So my boys, them looking at me. They looking at me like, oh, boy, they, they, they finna let it out. He said, man, you ain't about to out talk him about the gator now. He gonna, he gonna put the, I'm, I'm gonna bring facts to the table. So I bring the facts to the table. Oh, oh, y'all cheat. Oh, so now you one of them. Y'all we with the cheat mode. When we beat you on the field, on neutral territory, I'm still my whole, I'm a character the day I die. The Florida Gators beat the Florida State Seminoles for the national championship, something that, that really count, 52 to 20. We're always going to be the better program until you top that. For the national championship, yeah, that's an in-your-mouth moment. Anyway, fam. I'm getting ready to head to my mom. I'm going to get some coffee. I know I'm just rambling, but it's good to see y'all. It's good to hear from y'all. And even if I don't see what's in here now, what's up, Nilly? What they do, Nilly? Yeah, I'm going to get this coffee, family. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Nilly. But anyway, I'm going to get this coffee. And I'm going to go see my mom. Then I'm going to see Teresa, mom. And I'm going to head back to the house. By that time, baby should be woke. Kids should be woke. And I'm going to see what I'm going to do. Put on a little grill. See if we're going to get some crabs and stuff. It is what it is. I really love y'all the life. Y'all already know. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, okay? And, um, yeah, I will do a video. Or we might come live if, if baby want to come live for, my, for the rest of Memorial Day, okay? And see what we're cooking, all right? Same to you, Janet. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Peace out.